Do you want to test FortiGate features but don't have the device yet? Well, here's the solution. I will show you how to install FortiGate virtual machine and connect a guest device like a real life scenario. Also, we will go through the very basic configuration. In the next video, I will be covering up GNS3 training. Stay tuned. We will be using version 6.4.2 for this demonstration. First, download and extract the file. Now, run the VMware workstation. Select open a virtual machine and locate the FortiGate VM. Choose the FortiGate VM64. You must accept the license agreement and click next. In this window, you can edit the name or leave it as default. For the storage path, you can choose different drive. I usually store all of my virtual machine on different drive. Click on import once done. Now, we will edit the virtual machine settings. You can modify the memory and processor. The network adapter one would be R1 interface. This will be net to my internal network. The network adapter two would be our LAN interface. We will choose LAN segment. You can edit the name or leave it as default. We're going to create a virtual switch. So basically, what this means is any device you configure in the same subnet with the LAN segment will be logically in network adapter too. The next step is very important. If you are using the old firmware then no need to do this process, but for the previous and latest release you need to follow this instruction or else, your VM license trial version will automatically expire and your FortiGate VMware won't run or, you will encounter this error. Admin session removed because license registration status changed to invalid. To avoid these errors you must follow these steps. First, for all network adapters, you must uncheck or disable this option connect at power on. You must uncheck it all one by one. Once done, click on OK. Our goal for today is to connect this Windows 10 to this FortiGate VMware and run it like an actual device. Now, we will power on the FortiGate virtual machine. Wait for it to boot the device. Now, enter the default username admin and no password. Every time the device first boot or after factory reset, you need to create new admin password. First we have to do is to check the system status for the license. The FortiGate VM will only be valid for 15 days, after that you need to reinstall again or factory reset. Again. We need to run more commands to avoid the license expiration or error. I will attach all of these command below. You can copy and paste it.
We will now enable the option we have disabled earlier for those interfaces we are going to use. We will enable it for Network Adapter 1 for the WAN interface and Network Adapter 2 for the LAN interface. We will now configure the system interfaces. First is the internet facing interface or R1. The port 1. We will set mode as DHCP. For the allow access option, we will enable ping, HTTP, HTTPS, Telnet, and SSH just for this demonstration. Next is the LAN interface, the port 2. We will set mode to static. You may enter the IP net mask you want to assign. Let's just enable ping, HTTP, HTTPS, Telnet, and SSH. Now, we will check the interface's configuration. You can see the port 1 and port 2 we just configured. We will now configure our guest user. We will be using Windows 10. Edit Virtual Machine Under the Network Adapter We will select the LAN segment we configured earlier. What we did is we assigned this device to be a member of the FortiGate VM LAN network or internal device. Now, power on the Virtual Machine Since the DHCP is not yet configured on the FortiGate virtual machine then, we need to statically assign IP address to this device. We will assign IP address 10.0.0.10 for this device. The gateway 10.0.0.1 For the DNS server you can enter Google DNS and Cloudflare DNS Let's now log into the Forta gate, enter the default gateway Enter your username and password. In this window, you can check the license expiration date, we have 15 days trial. You can also check the firmware version. Let's have a quick tour. Go to System and Settings. You can change the time zone from here. You can also change the idle timeout. This determines how long the session is valid. And, you can change the theme you have few options to choose to. You can check out the link below for the FortiGate step-by-step -step configuration tutorial. This is just a quick guide for us to test the guest user. 
click on apply to save your changes. Let's check the system interfaces. Go to network and select interfaces. We can set interface aliases for us to determine which is our WAN and which is our LAN interfaces. Port 1 is our internet facing interface so we will set it as WAN. Now we can determine that the port 1 is our internet facing interface or WAN port. Next is port 2, we will set alias as LAN. Enable DHCP and input the range you want. You can specify the DNS server. We will input Google DNS and Cloudflare DNS. Enable device detection, this is very useful for troubleshooting. Click on OK to save the configuration. You will encounter this error since we just configured the interface we are currently connected to. Click on OK. Now, we can put this unused ports into one group. Or configure it as LAN 2. Great. You can now see the changes. Now, we will configure the policy, go to policy and objects and firewall policy. By default, there's no policy configured. We will create the very basic policy. Name it as LAN to all. This means all internal network can access anything or any protocols at any time, no restrictions, no filtering and no scheduling. Set incoming to our LAN interface. Outgoing to our internet facing interface. Source, we can select all or we can add new address using the LAN IP net mask. Destination to all or anything. Schedule to always since no scheduling and for services let's select all. Click OK to save the configuration. Now, you can see the new created policy. Let's now test if we can reach the internet. Great. It's working. Now, if you want to monitor the traffic, you can go to dashboard then fort of you, you have options to choose to, you can select the source or destination. You have other option to check the logs, go to log and report and also you have options to select. You can monitor the source IP 10.0.0.10 which is this device. You can select device. Source IP address etc. Well, that's all for today's demonstration. If you like this kind of video then please like, share, 
and subscribe. Also click on the notification bell for more upcoming videos. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.